Today I'm gonna to show you six hidden features of the DJI GO app. Now, all of these features will work with the DJI Spark, which is what I own and use, and most of these will work with the other DJI drones as well. So yeah, let's just get started. Feature number one is menu shortcuts. So all those icons along the top right portion of the screen, well, they are just shortcuts to the corresponding items in the settings menu. Touching flight mode, 3D sensing, Wi-Fi, or the battery icon is a really quick way to get directly to what you need without having to wade through all the other settings options. Feature number two is moving the gimbal. Now, if you touch the screen and hold your finger there, a blue circle will appear underneath your finger. And moving your finger up and down will change the pitch of the gimbal up and down as well. Now, the movement of the gimbal, the speed of the movement is not affected by the speed settings in the menu. It's only affected by the movement of your finger. Feature number three is moving the histogram. So when you go into camera settings and turn on your histogram, you can touch and hold that histogram and with your finger you can drag it and place it anywhere on the screen. Very cool. Feature number four is spot metering. This will only work in photo mode and you have to be in auto exposure mode too. You can touch anywhere on the screen image and the camera will set exposure from that spot. And while the lock icon appears on the screen, if you tap it, it will lock that exposure. Tapping the screen one more time will unlock it and allow the exposure to fluctuate again. Feature number five is auto exposure lock. This feature only works in video mode and you have to be in auto exposure too. So tapping anywhere on the screen image will bring up the auto exposure lock icon. Tap that lock icon one more time and your auto exposure is locked. Now the exposure will stay locked until you tap the screen one more time to unlock it. And one thing to note in video mode is tapping the screen does not meter exposure like it does in photo mode. Also a quick reminder that features four and five only work in auto exposure mode. If you're in manual mode and you touch the screen to set exposure or lock exposure, you're gonna get an error. And that's just simply because the auto exposure lock and the spot metering do not work in manual mode. And feature number six is full screen mode. So swiping up with two fingers will enable full screen mode and you get this nice clear display with just battery information in the corner. Now the battery information is not for your drone or your remote, it is for your smartphone or your tablet. And to exit full screen mode, just swipe down with two fingers. And one little bonus tip guys, when you switch to manual camera mode, you will see that the camera settings icon is augmented with a little M on it. And that's there to remind you that you're no longer in auto exposure mode and you're in full manual. Well, there you have it. I hope you learned at least one new thing that you didn't know before. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you next time.